I received a lot of interesting suggestions for improving my attempt at making clear glass, so I wanted to give it one more try. To purify my potash more, I recrystallized it a few more times, separating the impurities even more. There were a lot of interesting suggestions on purifying the eggshells, but ultimately, I figured the easiest solution was to just omit the lime altogether. But if you can just omit it, why is lime even included in the first place? Lime acts as a stabilizer that makes the glass stronger and water resistant. Without it, the glass will eventually dissolve. So I can make fine glass without it, but it won't necessarily last that long. For the sand itself, removing the iron seemed to work pretty well last time. The sample I checked under the microscope that I made previously showed what looked like pretty pure amounts of clear quartz. Just in case, I baked the sand in the kiln first to burn off any possible impurities. Then we mixed the two ingredients and baked it in the kiln. After baking for most of the day, the result was looking pretty promising. We poured it out as best as possible. And then placed it into the kiln and sealed it up so it would slowly cool overnight. So this is the final result of this attempt. As you can see, it's actually pretty good and probably the closest I've gotten so far at making actual clear glass. Here are all my other attempts, from my very first one with unpurified potash, barely resembles glass itself, the glass I used to make my eyeglasses, my microscope, and this latest attempt. Despite great improvements, I still don't think it's quite clear enough for a glass lens. So at this point, I think I've reached a limit of what I can achieve with the ingredients that are available to me. To succeed past this point, I think I need extra chemicals that are often added to help reduce the bubbles. But these chemicals aren't something I can easily source near me. Another option is to switch to soda ash in the place of potash. When Louis Darnell made his attempt, he used this chemical and had a much clearer result. But likewise, a source for soda ash isn't available anywhere near me. So for the time being, I'm gonna put a pin on making glass from scratch until later where I can hopefully afford trips to get these chemicals, possibly even later this year. But with that being said, I'm gonna still attempt to make a telescope next week, but by going from a slightly different direction this time. If you are enjoying this series, please consider supporting us on Patreon. The more money we have coming in, the better and greater projects we can pursue.